Small charms in Diablo 2 can be very important for min-maxing certain builds. PvP players pay quite the premium for some of these charms, so it can be important to know what they might be worth. In this video, we're going to take a look at the most beautiful, best-in-slot small charms in D2R, and to give an approximate price that you can expect for finding them. Who knows, maybe it'll also help you not char -see some of these that you find along the way, in case you didn't know they were valuable. If you're watching this video at a far different time than I released it, just know that we're doing these price checks about six months after the game launched. Prices are obviously subject to change. We're going to attempt to measure the value of these in bear runes. And before you go leaving some original comment down below about how I pronounce bear rune, just go ahead and watch that video right there and then come back and be like, damn it, Cooley, I owe you an apology. To assess these prices, we gathered data from in-game trading, D2JSP, and the recently founded in-game trading site, Tradery. We're going to start by looking at the cheaper ones on the list and build our way up to the big guns at the top. Let's start by looking at some 2011s. You'll see a number of charms on this list with the of Vita suffix, which contains a perfect plus 20 to life roll on the small charm. This one right here is no exception. Additionally, 11 to any given resist is the maximum that can spawn on a small charm. While all of these have their value in D2R because of the shared stash, PvP players often seek out cold and lightning resist on these, as those are the two most common elements that you'll need to stack against in the Blood Moor. While poison resist is worth a bit less, the others can go for up to a bear rune on sites like Traitory. While these types of charms are useful versus certain builds in PvP, they are often outclassed by another charm on this list, which we'll get to in a moment. Let's move on to the 2017. 2017s are small charms that have two maximum rolls on them. Of course, the plus 20 to life, but also plus 17 to mana. While 17 might be quite the odd number for a maximum roll on these, that is indeed the most you can get. PvP players will often pay a premium for these charms compared to other non-perfect life mana charms because those PvP players need every goddamn advantage that they could possibly get. Those friggin' dudes. You'll often see ES Sorks line the bottom row of their inventories with these, placing them just beneath their skiller charms. Additionally, Necros and Druids appreciate these in certain matchups, and you'll also see some Dual Claw Trap Assassins use these in order to sort of fix their mana problems that they run into by not using items like Spirit. At this particular point in time, this charm right here will fetch you about two bear runes. Moving on to another item worth about the same two bear runes, we're gonna look at the 3620. You might have guessed that the 20 refers to the life at this point, and if you did, I don't care what they say about you. You are smart. You're a very, very smart person. But the 36 refers to the amount of attack rating that spawned on the charm. These are extremely useful for builds that require a lot of attack rating, such as Whirlwind Sins, Whirlwind Barbs, Melee characters, potentially even Blade Fury Sins in the patch. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Regardless, they're worth about two bear runes and are extremely useful for min-maxing certain builds. Moving on to the 25. 20 life is super important on a lot of these charms, as you might be able to tell. Depending on the build, it's the equivalent of plus five or plus 10 to vitality. But in fact, it's even better than that because the flat plus to life that you get from this charm is actually bumped up by battle orders quite a bit. And while 2011s could fetch you up to one bear rune, 25s could fetch you four times that. Team dueling is very popular in PvP, but additionally, a lot of characters actually try to deck their builds out with these in order for them to be prepared for whatever comes their way without having to swap out to those 2011s in the shared stash. They also just fix those common resist problems that a lot of builds run into. Moving on to another charm that I actually found in D2R. This might actually be the best small charm I've ever found in my entire time of playing D2. That includes LOD and D2R. This, of course, is the 451 Poison Charm. Many people are familiar with poison charms. You might have seen plus 100 damage on a small charm before and got all fired up. Some people even know that some small charms can roll with up to 313 poison damage on them. But many players are unaware that 451 poison charms actually exist. The reason they're so rare is because they can only drop from the same places that you'd be able to find a 45 lifer charm. So that is Neolithoc, 
Bale, and Diablo. I ended up selling mine for about 3,500 forum gold, but actually as time goes on, I figured out that they go from anywhere between three to 5K. So if I was a little more patient, I probably could have got a bit more for it. And whereas bear runes go from between 350 to 400 forum gold currently, we get about eh, 14 bear runes on the high end. Moving on to the charm that probably everybody expected to be on this list, the Notorious 32020. Much like the previous charm on this list, the price of these tends to go up over time. So if you find one of these early on in a ladder reset, you're probably not gonna get as good of offers for it. But depending on what time you do try to sell one of these, I would estimate this goes from between 15 to 22 bear runes. The reason it's so rare, besides the fact that those damn PVP players just wanna min-max their builds, is that there's three abilities that have to roll perfectly on this. It's extremely rare for a charm that rolled all of these stats to roll them perfectly, but even ones that aren't perfect should still be able to fetch you two or three bear runes a piece. The value does range quite a bit depending on the AR and life rolls though, so just keep that in mind. But wait, there's more. What, Cooley, there's another charm uh, uh, beyond the 32020 that people are gonna pay something for? Indeed there is. It's a common theme on this list, as you might have noticed, that the difference between a perfect roll on many charms and a non-perfect one can be quite significant. The charm we're talking about here is the Annihilus charm. While you can pick up unidentified Annihiluses for pretty cheap these days, it's harder to find a perfect Annihilus that rolled 20-20-10. The current going rate for these on JSP is about 9k or approximately 25 bear runes. Just know that some of the first unidentified Annihiluses went for like 20-30k. Some might call this a good deal. I'm sure as fuck not buying it though. That's... Nope. Regardless, if you ever do find one of these, you're gonna be posed with a very interesting conundrum. Do you profit all those bear runes right away or do you just hold on to this beautiful piece of treasure? That decision, my friends, is up to you, but hopefully you're armed with a bit more information if you do run into any of these charms now.